And this will be one really noisy video. I will shut this off. Hello, something different this time. A project I've been working on the past few months. The project is related to mini four wheel drive cars, but the main focus is on education. Author of the whole idea and concept is Carl, and my part was to make this device and program this device. The goal of Carl workshop for children is for them to independently assemble Tamnia mini four wheels drive car by fo following written instructions and they are encouraged to listen to it, observe and adjust it so it runs as smoothly as possible. They can also paint it and finally test it on this device which I programmed based on Carl's ideas using the LilyGo T4 AMOLED platform. They can compete, compare, learn. The device consists of this platform Carl designed and also here is this LilyGo AMOLED T4 I programmed. From educational perspective this is engaging workshop for, for children that combines motor skills, reading, basic me uh, mechanics. At the same time children are introduced to physics concepts such as speed, RPM, uh, wheel diameter and there are of course electronics dealing with batteries, voltages. Overall I wish lessons like this existed when I was a kid. Sensor that measures RPM is this proximity sensor E18 D80 NK. It is an if infrared sensor and if you place something reflective near it it will detect it. Each time it detects uh, this piece of reflective tape we will have one rotation. If we measure time between rotation we can calculate RPM and later we can use RPM and wheel diameter to calculate speed, distance and so on. So let's break it down. Uh, this is not mine project, I just help it. This is Carl's project. Uh, so if you want code for this or you want um, have a little talk about platform and how to build it or you like mini four, four wheel drive racing I will leave uh, Carl's mail in description Carl call this also set up dino dometer I'm not sure am I pronouncing it right dynodometer but here it is so we have standard I can say cheap car it is $15 car which is great and it have only on off car is placed on these rollers and one of the roller have reflective tape which is detected by this sensor and here is a hero of the story mm, it can be used for let's say a racing and we can set race time for default race time is one minute but we can set it for example for on six minute race this is a lap length so we will know how many laps are finished here I can set tire diameter diameter and this is also feature where we can set name of a device 
but I'll show that in some other video because this device will also send data using ESP now to admin device to other device. So Carl will be able to have multiple um, multiple of these and it will track times and uh, laps on only one device. And let's make noise. Batteries are a little empty. I can start my and I can stop. Also, I can see average and maximum speed and average and maximum RPM. Uh, this project was quite challenging for me because measuring... Uh, this car is even slow because there are cars that run in 10,000 RPM or even more. And how I solved <laughs> problems with it is that I use two cores of ESP32 and one core is only dete detecting pulses and other core is used for updating uh, display, ESP now communication, user interface interactions and other stuff. Very interesting, I really enjoy this um, project and I didn't even know that there is racing with car like this one and point is to tune it car to to finish track fast as possible thank you I hope this was interesting video and in this video we saw that um, ESP, we saw again that ESP32 devices can be used in many many different situation and they can, they can be used for many things. Thank you, please leave a comment and if someone from Croatia is familiar with these, please leave a comment because I have a few questions about tracks. I want to find out where are, where are nearest tracks for those little cars nearby me. Thank you and have a nice day, goodbye.